Um, yeah, I haven't slept at all. Not even one tiny little bit last night. I'm a bit blocked up because I've been a bit teary. Just um, going through a lot of stuff emotionally. <laughs> Anyway, this is what happens with topical steroid withdrawal, is that, like some nights, you don't sleep. <laughs> I thought I'd gotten over it, but I think this kind of stressy time that I'm going through has triggered my sleep deprivation again, so I think I'm going to just um, get up and go about my day. Um, because quite frankly, lying here pretending like I'm going to be able to sleep is not working very well. So I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> So uh, basically, I've let myself go over the past few days. Um, as you can see, my skin's a freaking mess. Um, not only have I let my living environment go, I've also let my diet go. And I think everything just goes hand in hand. When one thing goes out of the window, the others go out of the window. Um, I've just been spending most of my time sitting in front of my infrared light, which has been soothing my skin. And I've just been like lying in bed listening to podcasts for, for the past few days. And now it's time for me, obviously, today to get back on, back in action, get my life back in order. Um, I'm completely sleep deprived. I haven't slept one minute last night, um, as I said this morning when I woke up. But I'm being productive. I'm getting on with things. And um, yeah, keeping a list always helps. Okay, so I have... Um, done a fair amount. I have put the meat away. I have hung up the washing. I've done a second load of washing. I've actually done a third load of washing. I've exercised. And have to um, clean the room, the dining room and the kitchen. And so before I do that, let me show you what the house looks like. So this is my dining room table. Uh, here my, my um, curtain fell down last night. <laughs> this is my kitchen. Oh my god. Uh, it's been worse over the past few days. But um, this is, yeah, I put some bones out to make a bone broth in my Instapot. Um, but yeah, you can get a sense that things have just been let go out of hand. I haven't taken the dustbins out. Um, the pots are starting to pile up. There's stuff on the counters. It's pretty much a big mess. And I'll take you through the rest of the house looking quite wild. Um, <laughs> yeah, i am not exactly been spending time tidying up. Just coping, like I've just been coping. This is from me videoing my exercise session earlier. Just coping. Hi. So I've chosen to stay in the room with parquet flooring because um, everything else is carpeted uh, in the bedrooms and I'm quite aware that I might have allergies to dust mites and things. So anyway, for the past about six months, I've been staying in a parquet room. Okay, obviously my bed is not made, but you can see my shelves have like old cups and things on dirty washing in the corner in my cupboard I haven't folded anything it's just like thrown in there so I need to get to that today um you can see the floor is looking mank as I know guys this is very embarrassing but the reason I'm showing you this is because um I just want to illustrate how hard it is to actually take care of ourselves sometimes when we've got TSW like sometimes things do go out the window um these are all my dead skin cells on the floor which i'm going to vacuum up with my new hoover my new hand hoover it's so gross 
And so, yeah, wish me luck. I'm going to do a proper clean now before I get totally exhausted. Come with me. Let me show you something that us TSW sufferers deal with on a daily basis, notably toward uh, the later months of TSW, or in my experience. Look at this. This is a dead skin cells from about, uh, I'll put my hand next to it so you can see, uh, about uh, two days worth of dead skin cells. I know, how does that even happen? I mean, obviously there's some, uh, the pillow, my pillow's coming undone, so that's the innards from the pillow, but holy crap. So I thought I'd show you that before I clean it up. So, I have managed to get through quite a few things today. Dry skin. Gross. Um, I will show you what I've gone through. There's my list. I've gotten a bunch of stuff done. I would say that I'm almost done with the kitchen. I've still got a few dishes that I haven't done. And to be honest, I'm not going to do them. I did a bunch of other ones there because my hands are pretty ripped up and so there's no point in me doing more damage to my hands today I'll get to it tomorrow but what I am going to do now is I'm going to clear out um, all the food that's non-carnivore um, so that I'm not tempted because I'm starting carnivore tomorrow I'm really doing it this time exhausted I um, cleaned the house it's looking a lot better I still have some washing to do um, but I'll take you around to see um, and now I'm just exhausted I like, can't get to the last two things on my list I think I'm just gonna watch some Netflix and chill I'm using my red light there on my legs and then I'm going to use it on my face but yeah I just find it very soothing um, and I'm just going to watch Netflix that's my day I think I've done really well another day surviving TSW